Hello guys, it's me, Bad Jokes, back at you once again with another video. And today, guys, we've got episode number two of my Met Police Save, the Met Police FC FM19 story. Very catchy title, isn't it, people? And today, we've got our very first league game of the season. We are at home against Wimborne Town. And so we're going to be having that game today. We're going to be going through the pre-season fixtures. We're going to be going through the transfers. Spoiler alert, there's not been much. And then I'm going to show you the kits that I've had made for this save. And then we're going to go and crack on with the game itself. So first things first, let's have a look at the fixtures. And as you can see, it's been mainly top tier top two tier teams and unsurprisingly we've lost them all we started off with a 5-1 defeat against Wolves we're not going to talk about the under 23 game that was just for me to have a look at all the players so yeah we lost that one 5-1 but Kyle Bailey getting himself a goal against the Premier League team very nice moment for him then after that 3-0 against Derby to be expected, really. And then, an absolute thumping against Ipswich. Two games in a row, we had a man sent off against Premier League opposition. This one especially hurt. Ryland Myers getting himself sent off in the third minute. So after that, any 1% chance we had was definitely gone. But then, we had a game against Fulham. And as you can see, that was almost competitive. Very almost. They was 3-0 up before we scored. No, sorry, make that 4-0 up before they scored. And they won the first half. But I like to think we won the second half. Because we did 4-0 at half-time, 2-0 in the second half. You can't really moan too much at that, can you? So that finished 4-2. And then we had a friendly just about a week ago. Just to get the players ready and to get morale up. Before the, last, before the first game of the season. Charlie Collins getting a double. Max Blackmore getting one. And Dean Morgan finishing the game off in the 93rd minute. And so all them friendlies have been to increase the bank balance. Because the bank balance when we started was about six and a half, seven grand. Something around those lines. And now 93 grand. That's a lot, lot better. I'm very happy with that. I don't know much about graphs, but I know that graphs that do this are good. Graphs that go up and up and up are good. So if we can keep the finances going that way, that would be very, very nice. But of course, we haven't played any away games yet. So we don't know if that's going to eat into the budget or what. And also, let's have a look at the kits. Because I want to say a massive thank you to a lovely fella called Kegman Plays. You can see his logo there on the home kit. He does awesome kits. I watched his stream uh, earlier today for me. But Wednesday, uh, Wednesday lunchtime, I watched a stream of his where he was just going through how he makes kits. And it's really interesting. I really enjoyed it. So as you can see, he's made all these kits, all these third kits. And so, yeah. One thing I am wanting to do for this series is every episode I want a different content creator, whether that be a YouTube video creator, a Twitch streamer, a blogger, just somebody off Twitter. I want somebody to have their logo on the kits every week. This week, obviously, first up, it's Kegman. Next week, I've got a very, very special guy lined up to be on the kits. And so I'm going to be dropping Kegman's links down Kegman's links down below. So go and check out his Twitter. Go and check out his Twitch. All his links will be down below. And so if you want a shout out on one of these videos, please do get in touch with me on Twitter at Bad Jokes Gaming or down below in the comments. Let me know and we will sort it out so you can get a shout out and get your logo on some of these kits. So that's all very cool. And so let's go. What's have a look at now? Let's have a look at the tactics. The tactics we are going for this season 
is a revolutionary 442. We are going with it very, very basic. As you can see, I have called it 442 no nonsense. And so, we've got Luke Williams in goal for the first game of the season. We've got Billy Brown on the left. We've got Myers on the right. Williams and Robinson in the middle of defence. For the first time ever, I'm using wide midfielders rather than wingers in a save, in a tactic. I've never done it before, so let's see how it gets on for the first few games of this season. We've got Johnny Wright on the left. We've got Gurkhan Gokman on the right. And we've got Harry Stanley, who's our only incoming this season. He's joined us on loan from Swindon, I think it is. Yes, it is. He's joined us on loan from Swindon. And he looks okay, doesn't he? Still only 18 years old. I brought him in mainly because he can play the Mazala role. So I thought, if he can play that, he must be half decent. So he's coming in. We're not paying him anything. So can't really moan at that. So he comes in at central midfield. We've got Ethan Chislett alongside him in an attacking central midfield role. And then up top, we've got Charlie Collins as a target man. And Jack Mazone up front alongside him in the poacher role. So what do you say? So we go and crack on with the game? Let's see if we can win this game. Actually, before we start the game, I do want to show you the media prediction. And the media prediction, they're not too happy with what I've done. Because when I first walked into the club, we were second favourite to go up. But now they're expecting us to finish sixth. But luckily for today, our opponents, Wimborne Town, they are predicted to be second bottom. 251 to 1 to win the league. So hopefully that's a little bit of a good fortune, a little bit of an omen. And we can go and get a win today. And here we are, guys. You can see our 4 4 2 on the left. Wimborne Town are going for a 5 3 2. A little bit adventurous, I think, for a lower league side. Although it is quite defensive. And so they've got. I'm going to give these guys a sell out. We've got Seabrus in goal. We've got. Oh, my eyes are going. I can't read these names. We've got Finglass in defence alongside Maybury and Talak. And then we've got Heater, no, Hester, sorry, on the left, on the left-hand side of the wing-backs. Walker on the right. We've got Young, Steer and Ladera in the midfield. And then up top, you've got Stocko and Holmes up front. So let's hope we can get a win. Come on, lads. Going to go for the team talk. I'm going to go passionately. Uh, let's give the fans a performance they're expecting. No reaction, as you might expect. So I'm going to go, I think there's a lot more to come from you. The goalkeeper and a couple of defenders are happy. And again, just go for this. Just go, I think there's a lot more to come from all of you. And that's got the vast majority of the squad motivated. So let's go and win this game. As we just see the handshake there between the two managers. I'm just going to get rid of the league table. Don't quite need that yet. This early on in the season. And let's just double check my settings are right. Yep. So here we go. Two minutes in. First highlight of the game. Williams clears it. But it goes to Collins. Gherkin got me with a long, long ball there. And that's gone easily to Bruss. He plays it short to Talak. Very long ball there. But again, we pick it up nice and easy. I think we are going to be seeing a lot of long ball football down at this level. Now Robinson with a long, another long ball there. Mazone with the shot and it's saved by the keeper. Talat clears it long. And now we go to Collins, to Gokman. This is a very long highlight. So hopefully, hopefully that means a goal is coming. Stanley with it. It's headed away. Ladera to Holmes. To Walker. And that's the end of that highlight. As I'm just going to change my camera setting here. I don't like this too much. I, I like using that one. But I think for videos. We're just going to go with TV. And leave there. That is the as they've scored. Wimborne Town have taken the lead away at Imber Court. Let's have a look at how this happened on the replay. Steer to Ladera. 
and steer. He steered it forward and Holmes beating the defender there a little too easily for my liking. And now we are behind. So that's going to give me my first shout of the season as I'm going to be demanding more. And just while we're waiting for another highlight, I just want to say thank you to Lucas who has been helping me with information about the squad and who's a really good guy I've been chatting with. He runs the Met Police FC Twitter account. I'll be putting their link down below in all the videos so you can go and give them a follow. And also, there is one other guy who I've been meaning to give a shout out to, Billy Ludlow. There you go, man. You left a really awesome comment yesterday on the channel, but unfortunately it was two hours after I started to save because it had all the information I would have needed to get absolutely everybody in the squad. But I do think the fairest thing I can do is rename a load of the youth intake guys into names of the people who are at the club in real life. So that's what I'll be doing when youth intake comes around. And that's half time. I've been trying to avoid that awful performance because as you can see, They've had four shots, just the one on target, which is their goal. Two shots on target we've had out of our three. 44% of the ball to their 56. So I'm going to go tactics. I think I'm going to go a slightly higher line of engagement and a higher defensive line. I think that's what I'm going to try for. And I'm going to go team talk. Do I take Collins off? He's not looking the fittest lad ever, is he? How can Hippolyte play? He's a pressing forward. Or Kazakis is a poacher. I'm going to go Hippolyte. Collins is not looking fit. So I think I put Hippolyte there. And then go team talk. And I'm going to go assertively. This is not good enough. I expect to see a much better showing. And nobody's taken any notice of that. So now I'll just go to them all. I'm looking to you to make the difference. And that seems to be getting them riled up. So now let's hope we can. And let's hope for a better second half. As in fact, I'm going to slow the highlight down a little bit. And now here we go. Gherkin Gottman with a long ball. Hippolyte unable to get onto that. And now Hester with a corner. Steer with a volley. With a corner even. Oh, no, it is steer with a volley. And he steered that into the back of the net. That's the same joke. Twice in one episode, bad jokes. Calm yourself down. Oh, my days. Welcome to non-league football. Welcome to management bad jokes. This is not good. As now, Stocko with the ball. Goes to Fingles. Brown, thankfully, heads it away. Chislet with a long ball. Can Mazzone get, get Mazzone? I think that's how you pronounce it. Get on to that. No, he can't. But we do win it back. Chislet. Why oh, he loses it out there. Steer. Gives it to a teammate and now it's Holmes in behind our defence. The higher defensive line was an error. The higher defensive line was most definitely an error. Let's go change that. And go in possession. Much more direct passing. Focus play through the middle. And very narrow. And now we're going to have to go attacking. When, once it allows us to. But this is not the start I wanted. Steer to Ladira. Holmes was just in behind the defence. Managerial error. Managerial rookie getting it wrong here. 57 minutes gone. And I can't see us getting back into this. We're going to go very attacking. And just hope that in the last half hour we can get a little bit of pride back I suppose all you can say and now 78 minutes gone just giving it another shout as Wimborne are coming forward it's Holmes again Holmes with a shot and thankfully Williams with the save no idea why I'm wearing this I've just realised take this off Sven it's the headset that caused the bad luck isn't it that's what it is as now Stanley with it goes long to Young to Talak to Steer to Walker, to Steer, and 10 minutes left. If you're wondering why I was wearing wearing that headset, I've just recorded a two-game FM League video. That's going to be up tomorrow at 6 
as a white YouTube premiere. So please do check that out. And now Mazzone with the ball, but he loses it. And now it's Holmes to Stocko. Can we win it back, please? We're not even trying to win it back. Goes to Maybury, to Ladira, but thankfully we get it back. And now Mazzone. It gets the ball forward. Hippolyte. Hippolyte's in space. Hippolyte shoots and Bruss with the save. And now it's Mazzone with the corner. Goes out. And can we at least get one goal? That would be nice. Mazzone. Maybury heads it out. And I think that's going to be the end of that. Oh, that's full time, people. The referee's just blown his whistle. And, wow, back to the drawing board, possibly, I think. That's been a very awful performance. To lose at home 3-0 is never good. Billy Brown playing poorly, getting just a 6 rating there, as well as Mazzone up top. Ah, oh, that's awful. I'm going to give it a team talk. I'm going to say to the lads, assertively, you're not good enough today. And not any sort of reaction. I'm going to say to him, I'm disappointed with all of them. Because nobody played well today. Who got our highest rating? 7.1 for Gherkin Gokman. He's the only one who got himself any kind of credit. And so, that's where I'm going to leave it for today, guys. I hope you've enjoyed that video. Please give me a like down below. Even if it's a pity like. And if you're looking forward to the rest of this series, and if you're new around here, please do subscribe to the channel. I've got this series going on. I've got WWE 2K19 going on. Pro Evo 2019 going on. Subscribe for all that good stuff. Follow me on Twitter, at Bad Jokes Gaming. Follow the Met Police account on Twitter. I'll drop the link down below. And so, yeah, just one thing left to say. I am Bad Jokes Gaming. I am out.